recording. Okay, it's part two of the Meet Mobility live session with Sasha Pallenberg and uh, Chippy. There's at Chippy on Twitter, Sasha underscore P on Twitter, netbooknews.com, carrypad.com are our websites. We have a bunch of tablets here. In part one, we looked at uh, I think six or seven different tablets that are in the market at the moment, uh, from the iPad 2 to the HTC Flyer, the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, we're now going to take two of those devices. Can I get another one? No, you've used up all my... I'm sorry. <laughs> You've used up all my uh, tissues. Uh, nice that we recorded that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to record it again. <laughs> we're going to take two of those devices and we're going to um, try and go over the differences. And that's the uh, the transformer from Asus and the Acer Iconia Tab A500. Uh, it's actually not going to take too long, I think, to highlight the differences because in terms of software, they're very similar. In terms of hardware, they're very similar. In terms of pricing, they're very similar. So let's see if we can find the difference. We're also going to ask our chat room to chip in as well and help us because um, we may not find all the differences. And I know there's some people in the chat room, certainly in Gadget were, were here earlier, uh, GigaOM were here, uh, CNET, uh, sorry, ZDNet, uh, James Kendrick from ZDNet, it was here so you guys can help us as well and this will probably be about five minutes long let's switch the uh, camera and uh, let's have a look at f first we'll take the sizing right and let me zoom out on the camera there we go so uh, w what you notice is that the transformer is a little bit wider it also is I would guess it looks very thin from the side, but it's getting more bulky in the middle. Yeah, okay, it's got let a me show you this. Curved back trick. Here we go. So it kind of seems that the Acer Iconia tab is thicker, but it's actually not. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it is. It is thinner overall. It's thinner uh, compared to the Transformer. Is it really? Yeah. Just, just it's just like yeah, yeah. Like the Iconia tab is yeah. like half a mil, yeah, yeah. slimmer overall. Yeah, it is. And the weight, I think, is fifty grams uh, more on the Iconia tab A five hundred Wi Fi versions we got here. So there's really not much difference in it. Do you want to go around the sort of look and feel materials of the device yeah. just to highlight those um, differences? The the transformer has a plastic finish. It looks like little honeycombs somehow on the back. You yeah. know, it's similar to like the this. plastic that was used on the Galaxy Tab 10.1, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's sort of hard it, plastic. It, exactly, it's almost the same. It feels good to hold it, but I tell you one thing: due to the fact that it's a little bit thinner on the side, I, I think when you're holding it for a while, it, it 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 feels very edgy in the palm of your hands, while the Acer Iconia Tab is, in my opinion, more rounded. Yeah, I would agree with you there. But although I hold this one. Although there's one little bit on the corner of the Iconia tab. I, I know, I know. Here, which kind of annoys but you're not me. But, but you're not holding it no. down there. It's right? true. And it's got a nice feel. It's this um, aluminium, and it is aluminium uh, backing on That's it. It's good for scratches. Yeah, it does get scratched. You have to watch that. It does get scratched pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, but it's a nice look, really nice look. Um, um, the display, uh, we have an IPS display on the uh, transformer which is similar to the one of the iPad 2 of course it's a bigger one yep and the A500 doesn't have what they uh, what's termed an IPS display but it does have what they call wide view display yes which is as put it's good you know you I shouldn't worry too much the difference I can tell you that there is any difference when it comes to viewing angles on these two tablets I can't see well I'm wearing glasses maybe that's my problem but yeah. I just can't tell if there's any difference. Let's so go, go around the devices. Let's see what we, difference we can find on the ports. Okay. Uh, we have a we have a power connector over here. There I'll try and highlight the difference. Exactly. I'll hold the, the other and try and highlight there, the difference. There's a, jack, there's a jack for the headset. We have an HDMI out. That, that's a it's micro a HDMI. micro on that one, and it's mini exactly. on, on the uh, transform, which is important. The cable's not supplied. Was it supplied with the no. transform? No. No. So try and find a mini, sorry, a micro HDMI cable. It's much harder than a mini Absolutely. HDMI cable. Uh, here we have a micro SD card reader. While well, we don't have any. Yeah, we do. We have to pop the. Uh, this oh, it's, part it, it's off. over here, right? Yeah. So the micro <coughs> SD card is in there with a blanked off 3G SIM card uh, slot as right. well on that one. So it's it's the same in terms of that. 
What else? Uh, what else? Have well, we, got? we have a USB 2.0. Also, oh, that's a serious. Uh, that, that's a difference. huge difference. Now look at this. That's a real USB connector, and I think it's. Uh, uh, and there is a micro USB here. Yeah, so you can actually charge over micro USB very, 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 very slowly, I believe. Yes. But it also acts as a USB um, slave. But this is a USB host, so you can actually plug Absolutely. a keyboard into it yeah. and um, USB storage or mass storage devices. Yeah. Um, it doesn't support uh, USB mouse right now, but certainly keyboard uh, works, yeah, and I've done some does. tests. So on that. there's, you, you're not getting this on the ASUS EPA Transformer, but uh, you're gonna get it uh, with the docking station, of course. There you will have, uh, uh, I think, two more USB 2.0. Right, so you do have the docking, and of course that's one of the major differences between so the two. You get the docking station. There's another or, difference an option. in terms of how they position the uh, the front-facing camera. Uh, over here on the e transformer we have it right above the screen in the middle while on the Acer Iconia tab it is on the left side in the bezel right where's the microphone on the transformer because I know on the I, it took a while to find it but the microphone is actually between the glass yeah, and the yeah, casing yeah, up yeah. there on this one well I tell you one thing our, it actually doesn't even matter because you just don't want to do videos <laughs> with the Ace Iconia. The quality and the sound quality. Yeah, but you might want to use, for example, um, Skype video or Google video. True that. Or, um, yeah, well, that's the sort of thing you might but want to still, do. But uh, still, you know, th th this is uh, the worst experience in terms of uh, uh, videos, what we did uh, with it. Uh, compared to the Zoom and to the Transformer and to the iPad 2. Sure. So this is f far, uh, it's absolutely inferior compared to all these other tablets. There's a huge docking station connector for the Iconia tab here on the bottom. And there are supposedly going to be accessories, for example, yes. a dockable keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I d but I don't think it will have like the charging and netbooky style keyboard that the no, transformer no. has but um, hopefully that will enable things like HDMI out and charging and uh, USB as well on the uh, transformer. So with the uh, transformer we have also this docking station connector and then these two connectors so that it's uh, gonna get solidly into the docking station it can really yeah, the hold locating it. Locating lugs, yep. Yeah, let's quickly talk about the internal differences. They're both running Tegra 2. They are both running Honeycomb 3.0. Um, th at the price we bought them, and the, sorry, you have the 32 gig version here yeah. of the Transformer. I have a 32 gig version of the A500, but I think the A500 is slightly cheaper uh, for the 32 gig than the Transformer, although prices are fluctuating, and these two seem to be leading the way in bringing the price down, right? Yeah. So. It's going to change day by day. Anyway, um, the other thing is this has got one gig. I think this has got one gig yes. as well. Uh, screen size of the sc same. Screen it's resolutions the resolution are the same. same. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, the UIs on them, Sash. If you want to go do a quick uh, demo um, on the differences there. So, uh, with the oh no, you know what? Let's take a look at the Iconia UI first because this is plain Android Honeycomb. Um, let's go back to the. Okay, I'm getting a little bit closer to the camera here. There you go. Can you see these buttons on the left bottom corner? Uh, let's go back, home screen, and then we have all these apps that are active right now. So this is all plain honeycomb. This is uh, something that you're familiar with, that you saw already on the Motorola Zoom. And the uh, same with these apps and widgets that are running on it. Now let's take a look at the ASUS EPET Transformer. Can you see that they changed the symbols over here? It looks quite different and they have their own little weather widget, mail widget, uh, calendar widget. So it looks a little bit different. I would have loved them, uh, to see that they would also change the color uh, of the clock here, but they didn't. Uh, yeah, it, right. It, it it would just make sense. Uh, so, but that's about it. When it comes to pre-installed apps, um, the Iconia tab is uh, superior to the uh, EPET Transform. We have games on here. We have a couple of multimedia apps, social networking apps. Yeah. So we've got uh, Clearfy, which is the DLNA 
application. Have you got DLNA support on the transformer? Do you know? Mm -mm. No DN DLNA support on the transformer. So that's quite a significant difference. Three pre-installed games. Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We do have this. There is this. Sorry. I mixed this up. Let me just check it. Um, I found it. There was something. Unfortunately, I already installed so many <laughs> applications on here. Um, wait, I'm going to find it. Someone asked, do people actually use DLNA? I try to use it. <laughs> I just wish I had a TV that supported it. Then I would right. push some content around. You try and find that. I'll just talk about some more uh, some more differences on the A500. Uh, there's a different photo browser on here, Photo Browser 3D. Uh, Nemo Player is the audio player. Uh, so uh, Sa uh, Sasha's just found my net is DL the DLNA support on. So it does have DLNA on the um, Transformer. I had a huge problem to play back Codex, Divix Codex, RV Codex. Oh, yeah, on the, yeah. the Codex support is not there right now. Uh, Musica is a music recognition application. OPO is a radio application. Uh, YouTube we've got here, of course, and that's standard and clarifies the DLNA. Moving through, uh, Social Jogger. <laughs> There's a very important link to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> that's an app in itself, surely. Uh, Google Talk, of course, the standard. And Lumi Read, which is, I think, an EPUB book reader. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else here um, in terms of applications. I'm just going to quickly look through. I want to mention something about language support. Um, this is the German version. You can't run, you can't switch it to English language. Oh, shoot. And the actual German version has got tons of English language stuff in it as well. So a lot of the <laughs> notes that come under menus are all still in English. So clearly some, some work. Uh, well, I bought this one in Taiwan, and I can switch it to whatever that, language. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Iconia tab. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. How stupid that they didn't put uh, um, European language support in there. Anyway. Um, performance is going to be the same, right? We've got the same processor, we've got the same memory, we've got the same operating system build. There's going to be nothing between the two. All the i yeah. um, widgets, etc. The UI is pretty much, pretty much the same. Um, what else can we say? There's about the a difference between thirty and sixty minutes in terms of battery life. To well, the EPAD Transformer is getting a little bit more of battery life. Right and uh, I don't know if thirty to sixty minutes is significant. Yeah, but you're talking over seven hours. Exactly. And I think the A five hundred that that idles pretty well. Four days idle with Wi Fi on, so the differences are minimal. When you get to over seven hours, I think it's not worth. It depends how you use the device. I mean, if you accidentally leave Bluetooth on, there's your half an hour gone. You yeah. Know? Um. And uh, what else can we talk about? Because I don't think, and I was trying, I was trying to think about this today. There is nothing. There is nothing oh, really significantly different. You know right? what? There, there is a small difference when it comes to the speed in the browser. The accelerometer is quite a little bit faster on the Iconia tab. The uh, <laughs> Iconia has a gyroscope. Does it have a gyroscope in the transformer as well? I think so. I think it did. I mean, I had a look at the info through Quadrant but, earlier. Uh, you know, we, we also did a comparison uh, with the uh, the 3.0 version of the Motorola Zoom before we got the update. And uh, the, Icon uh, the Motorola Zoom was by far the slowest one when it came to browser speed, rendering, and using the accelerometer going from portrait mode to landscape. So uh, that, that was quite different. And, what uh, about updates? Uh, have Asus said that they will update to three point one? I got. I just got an update three days ago on this which one, which wasn't three point one though. Which wasn't three point one. Right. I think that was mainly for um, Asus applications, services, right. whatever, or maybe just some codecs or firmware. I don't know. Right. Yeah. I don't know what they did. Bug fixes or whatever. You know what? Actually, what we what, what we even did, we did a boot up comparison. You know which tablet <laughs> is booting up. Uh, Sasha will do anything for a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, no, no one did it before. It's kind, of, it's quite interesting. Right. All of them are pretty slow. I tell you that. If you compare this to a netbook, they're they're all very sure. slow. The flyer has a fast boot mode, by the way, but I don't don't know how it works. Um, 
So I was what I was going to say. System update on the A five hundred. Kevin Tofel of Giga Ohm wrote um, a couple of days ago in his A five hundred, actually yesterday in his A five hundred review, that Acer have told him that three point one will be rolled out by the end of this month. That's the word he got. Uh, I haven't heard anything else. So um, maybe they are uh, committing to three point one. They should do, of course. Mm. Um, but I haven't heard anything on the transformer. So when it gets three point one, in fact, that's the kind of that's that's the checkpoint, right? We should re-review these devices at 3.1 because that's when the differences are going to start yeah. to happen. I was talking to Al Sutton yesterday uh, on the podcast, and he was saying he really hopes that uh, the manufacturers' um, uh, differentiators, differentiators come into the devices. So in terms of codec support, special apps, um, and special features within the software. Uh, that, so 3.1 is the is the key Checkpoint, I agree. I think, well, as, I, uh, like, like Jacob K just mentioned to us, Asu said that they are releasing 3.1 in, in June. June for the Transformer. Thanks, JKK. And I, I absolutely agree with you. Right now, it is. Um, well, we just have to wait until all these devices are getting 3.1. Uh, it makes a huge difference, absolutely. And uh, we just rendered a 20-minute review of the differences between these two devices. Worthless. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Did we record it? <laughs> we recorded Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Let's de delete bin it. it. Delete <laughs> it. But it's important. Uh, Mid-May 2011, 3.0 tablets. I think most reviewers would say, wait. Yeah. And uh, 3.1 is the point where you start to, I think, see differences and start to be able to review the device for what they're, they're going to be six months down the line. All right? Yeah. Listen, let's knock that bit on the head now. Coming up in part three, we're going to do the uh, seven-inch tablet fight. It's the Galaxy Tab versus the HTC Flyer versus the Playbook. And that's going to be harder because there's a lot of differences yeah. between those devices. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, check out part three uh, where we're going to look at those three devices. Thanks to everyone for, for joining in in the chat session. To, for Sasha Pallenberg, uh, at Sasha underscore P on Twitter. My name's Chippy, at Chippy on Twitter back in part three see you then thank you